Hello and welcome to the 5 Minute Film Club and today I'm going to do something a little bit different and that's talk about a new release from Indicator that I received in the post the other day and it is uh, the controversial trilogy of films um, that Indicator have released in April and that is Stanley Long's Adventures a 70s sex comedy threesome so on here we have Adventures of a Taxi Driver, Adventures of a Private Eye, and Adventures of a Plumber's Mate. Adventures of a Private Eye, the most hilarious adventures film yet. Now these films are probably not high on anyone's recommendation list, or maybe that's completely the wrong way to look at it. Maybe this is to look at it as an historical artefact, and... If any company was going to put out three films like this and were going to do them justice and put them in context, it's going to be Indicator. So that's why I have these three films. I've never watched any of them. They are stuffed with, um, you know, comics, actors, comedy actors of the day. Um, you get Harry H. Corbett. Obviously, that's that's the only reason why I know about these films is because Harry H. Corbett is in Adventures of a Private Eye. <laughs> you get to see a lot of those, I suppose. <laughs> and he did actually quite a few of these sex comedies, like Percy's Progress, and a few others that I can't actually remember at the moment. But yeah, this is the one that I knew about. So when Indicator put them out, I thought, you know, I was umming and ahhing about this set for a long time. And I thought... If I'm ever going to see these films, this is the way to do it. And you get so many extras with this set. So you get new high definition masters of adventures, um, three films. You get audio commentaries on each with Stanley Long. You get the feature length compilation of extracts from the adventures series, the best of the adventures that was made for the video tape market. Um, you get four and a half hour archival audio recording of an interview with Stanley Long conducted in 1999. You get, of course, with Indicator, a load of new extras as well. Um, and because this is limited edition, you get the booklet as well. This is a 80-page um, exclusive booklet with it. But let's just crack in and see what we get in this set. So here we go. That's the slip there. So we got spines number 260, 261 and 262. And I love the little cardboard sleeves. I always like these. These are great. Um, so that's Adventures of a Taxi Driver. Let's open it up. <laughs> so this has got Diana Dawes in it, Ian Lavender, isn't it? Stephen Lewis, Robert Lindsay, Brian Wilde. Yep, <laughs> it's a great, interesting cast. Um, then we get Adventures of the Private Eye. And this also has, what I love with Indicator as well, is the um, Super 8 cut-down home video version. What on earth does that look like of this film? Um, it's got Irene Handel in it. Again, Ian Lavender, John Pertwee, um, Liz Fraser, Harry H. Corbett, Susie Kendall, Anna Quayle, William Rushton. Diana Dawes again. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to watching these. I think they're going to be a rather embarrassing, cringeworthy watch potentially. But you know, I'm what I'm what I'm really excited about doing is watching the films, making up, seeing what they're like for the first first point, and then just looking at these extra features. Um, then we get the third one, which was uh, Adventures of a Plumber's Mate. Uh, yeah, Elaine Page in this, controversially at the time. Um, Arthur Mullard. Christopher Biggins. Of course, you can't have a set without Christopher Biggins, can you? 1970s raunchy comedy. Christopher Biggins, throw him in there. William Rushton again. Stephen Lewis. Yeah, he must have been in all of these. <laughs> I can, even though I haven't seen it, I know exactly what Stephen Lewis is going to be doing during these films. Um, so that's those. Then here's the 80 page booklet. Perfect figure of a British man there climbing out of a window completely naked. Um, these books are fantastic. There's so many great p 
pictures and <laughs> what I what I'm I don't really know why if somebody can talk to me in the comments down below these these were not just throwaway films when they came out in the cinema they might have been to critics and you know but audiences went to see them in their droves and you know what why 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 were these films so I suppose they were cheap but there must be some they were suddenly a boom in the 1970s of these kind of films these sex comedies um, Norman Wisdom was in one at the end of the 1960s I believe so it was just everybody anybody that was British and well known from the 1960s and 50s just suddenly appeared in these films and then you get um, a poster which is great which I believe is my first poster from Indicator actually um, so this side this side you get Adventures of a Private Eye with uh, Harry H. Corbett there in the corner and then on this side Adventures of a Taxi Driver which apparently more people went to see Adventures of a Taxi Driver in British cinemas than they did Martin Scorsese's Taxi Driver that's probably not a surprise really at the time um, anyway that's kind of the unwrapping of Stanley Long's Adventures series and I'm interested to see how <laughs> how they stand the test of time and whether I can whether I can sit through them all in one go um, I'm sure I can I'm sure there will be moments of amusement all the way through I'm just really excited to see what Indicator have done with this set and kind of because when, when it came out um, I'll put a link below to the interview that uh, the guys at Indicator did with Chasing Labels podcast um, announcing this this set and the amount of interest and kind of not backlash backlash is too strong but kind of like questioning comments in the facebook groups of in indicator about why why are they releasing these films what what is about these films but to me they feel obvious for indicator because nobody else is going to put out these films nobody else is going to give these films the chance, um, you know, they they deserve a moment in in the boutique Blu-ray sun sunshine, and um, Indicator is the one label that you know is going to do it justice, and um, they're all about resurrecting forgotten British films, and this these are films from a, you know, that were, were huge in the day and now utterly forgotten and completely you know shot down really so yeah i'm interested if anybody else has got the set if you've already dug into it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and um tune back in in a few weeks time well i will be looking at this set as a whole probably um but please let me know your thoughts about this set all these films in the comments down below and i'll see you next time thank you very much Goodbye.